it's like the newest episode of uh Black Mirror. Gisela Blacklander. Justin. Okay. Robbie. Funny if it's this thing was it. Oh, can I just pick anything? Anything at all? I think I see a dead fly. Yeah. Go name Teapot. I kind of want to poke this one. So small. This one can't be real. Hey, I think I know this one. Seen one brain, you've seen them all. That one looks a little soggy. Too small for Nick. Ouch. No, thank you. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, we're gonna take that. I mean, I thought I was gonna have to go through like a hundred of them. Nick, we got you a new mind. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind pop-ins. Oh, I didn't realize we were going in. So who are you, sir? Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, oh hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? <laughs> How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> What was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? I heard it. No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Uh -huh. But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. <laughs> I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? <laughs> I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. There's so much going on right there. It's time to take some of those smelling salts. So we can eat bodies. If I 
put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them just without. touching it. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have brain will travel. Oh, Back to Jesus. the to put it in This is gonna be bad, ain't it? We need to find our parents anyway, and I kind of want to see if I can take out something. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin. Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh. Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. Mm -hmm. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. No, I don't care about that. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun. Oh. And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. Should. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper-ice, we were never able to recover his body. Ooh. Only Ford saw it happen, and he is unable to tell us where to look for it. Darling. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Citanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Well, I ought to let you get back hey. to work. Very, very uh, humorous. Thank you, Otto. Okay, well, I didn't want any of those, but I guess we're going to take them. Oh, cool. I didn't want that anyway. What's the other one? Okay. Let's see if there are any stray thoughts around here. Oh my god, he's so cute. I love it. Okay, well. Got it. Oh. Oh, that's what we're doing. Dude, neato. I have to climb my pants after this, too. Come with me, side challenge marker. Oh, cool. Okay, so we're gonna what, head over here? Where the hell are we going? But we're going somewhere, guys. I'm guessing that's where the campgrounds are. Ooh, what's in here? Hi! 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 What are you doing? Hello. Finally, I thought you'd never say hi. Oh, sorry. I tell you, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow, but she scared me. But you seem nice. Oh, so you. did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. 
So, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly! We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just agent rule right now. He likes it in there. Oh. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Is it squirrels? Squirrels? Voices. You <laughs> can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? Oh. <laughs> So anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! I'm just gonna walk away from you, lady. <laughs> oh my god. Where is he? It's just one freaking room. Is there another rat in there? Hmm. I see what you're doing. There. Oh my god! Is that? Oh my god! Hmm. Rat again. Oh, <laughs> you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck we in this frame. Oh. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Oh my god, it's what's Hi. his face. I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans. That I know Except of. Except the squirrels. Good. Huh. Good. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. Aww. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there's too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh no. W with what? No. I need a senior league membership card. What? Well, well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento Hi, of baby. a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no. She's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just Stop. can't anymore. Stop. Okay, we're, we're done. I love you to death, but you've shut off my recording last time, and you keep knocking shit over. Please let me borrow your senior league membership card. No, now buzz off. Mm, buzz off. Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay. Hey, one bee coming up. One bee. Okay. Okay. I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Fool. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. It's funny, you can just drop right down. It's just one freaking room. Bye, lady. Bye. Bye. Ow. What the fuck? Sorry, little brother. I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Oh, you people are rude. Knock it off, crazy. <laughs> Damn it. Can we do better? There we go. Who knows, I probably could have just... Oop. 
bitch. I got another pine cone here with your name on it, jerk. Haha, <laughs> nope. Whack you first. Yeah, that one thing Careful, so we can attract all of it. Pretty advanced up here. Oh, Not does it? <laughs> I wonder how long this brain is going to stay fresh in my backpack. I don't know, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, the brain's gonna stay fresh for a long time right now. Ooh, Ooh so advanced. Don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, it's a camp. Okay, what's on here? Crazy? You up here? I'm telling mom you threw a rock at me. It was a pine cone, you baby. Ow! That a was a rock. rock. I'm warning you. You are rude. Oh my god. There's the goat pen I have. I was very confused at what it looked like at first. Let's go find my parents. I don't even know where we're going. There's a lot to process right now. Did I miss anything? Is that another key? I don't think I can get that. No. You know what? Screw it. Let's do what we just did earlier. <laughs> we are oh, the questionable area. Oh my god, this is so cute. Looks like the Quato family circus has traveled through here, all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that if you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Brazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? <sighs> Ow! What's another one? where that came from. Man, that girl's rude. I think the entrance to the forgetful forest is somewhere here in the questionable area. Yeah, well, first off, I kind of want to go to this cool freaking lumberjack area. <gasps> oh, this is wild. What is she doing here? <laughs> this is here in the background. It looks a little concerning. Creepy. Oh, oh my god. Lot, thank you. Are those the acorns I asked for? Yes. No. No, they can't be, can they? No, because I asked for acorns that were crushed. Didn't I? Didn't I, Fur Lancelot? I hate to yell at you, Fur Lancelot, <gasps> but I, I I am the crushed one. It crushes my heart to see you not doing your best. Now, do I need to show you how to crush things? No? You sure? Okay. Good boy. Now, try again. But this time, think about personal commitment and delivering excellence every day. All right? Sorry you had to see that, Raz. <laughs> He's concerned, too. What the fudge is she doing back there? Is that a bug? Oh <laughs> my god. Got it. God, I wish we could get back there. Out of my kitchen, Raz. And 
Unless you want to end up a pancake. Oh my god, the deer is actually really cute, but also weird with the long neck. Whenever he gets uh -oh. in that stance, it's really cute. What are you doing? Hey, Sam. Talk fast. Cakes are cooking. I have some questions about pancakes. <laughs> Start flapping, Jack. Why didn't you just go order some pancakes at the cafeteria? Agent Oleander didn't give me any money. I assumed to test my resourcefulness. <laughs> What's your recipe? Just the basics, you know, eggs, milk, flour. Found most of it here, with a couple quick substitutions. A nest? What sort of substitutions? If I told you, it would compromise the perceived flavor profile. Isn't that just straight up dirt? For the umami. Weren't all the supplies here kind of old? Look, you can't take the expiration dates too seriously. They're just the food industry protecting itself from lawsuits oh and God. protecting us from like food poisoning. He's, he's no right. One's getting sick from my pancakes, unless one of you jerks didn't wash their hands. <laughs> eh, better late than never. Oh, don't ask the question. Where'd you get the milk? From the goats? Oh. Yeah, that would have been easier. Hey, it brought us closer, Fran. Oh no. You used eggs you found here? Old eggs? No. Gross. I found some fresh ones. And you know, if you use enough syrup, you can't tell chicken from snake. Eggs is eggs. I don't know. You don't want a pancake. Can I have a pancake? You can have any that fall on the floor. Thanks. Where'd you learn how to make pancakes? Prison. Wait, what did I say? I meant from my mother. I'm out of pancake questions. Good, because I'm out of pancake puns. What are you doing out here? Well, you know my intern mentor, Coach Morso Oleander? Uh, yeah. Well, this is the first assignment he gave me. Mission. Get me some pancakes so I can think. I think it's supposed to teach me something about the many layers of the mind. Mm. Maybe. I know the butter stands for lateral thinking. I got that much. Can I ask you about your family? Why? Because my last name is Bull, and because that's a famous family in the Psy community, and you want to network with me to further your Psy career? Go for it. I'm a friend of your brother's. Hmm. Your head looks remarkably unexploded. Oh, nice. Must be the helmet. Oh I forgot that's Dogen. Oh. Has your brother Dogen really made someone's head explode? No, never. Wait, you mean someone who didn't deserve it? No. I mean, like, anybody. Look, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Am I right? I guess so. Can everyone in the Bull family talk to animals? Most of us can talk to them, but few of us really know how to listen to the animals. You know, for instance, <gasps> I can hear you rolling your eyes, Mrs. Thatcher. Oh my God. I can't. What can you tell me about Compton Bull? Well, Gramps is nice and all, but honestly, he's a little weird. <laughs> no, still too tough. Okay, I'll stop asking about your family. The bull's got nothing to hide. Unlike some of these squirrels. Relax, I'm talking about your nuts. You guys still hide nuts, right? Oh. Guys, learn to laugh a little, okay? You're this game, I can't. So, have you always wanted to be a psychonaut too? Uh, not really. My true dream is to be a pet therapist because I'm really good with animals. Right, guys? <laughs> this is progressively getting worse right now. Okay, we have one more question. Is this it? Are you worried about Maligula? Brad, Maligula's ancient history. My grandpa killed her by triggering an elephant stampede. What? I never heard huh. about it. You believe the official story, do you? 
I gotta go. Catch you on the yeah. flip side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is funny every time. I absolutely love this. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I didn't realize. Oh. Okay, we're done. Nope. Mm-mm. That was fantastic. Wait, wait. How is how? Oh, that's already run. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, this is where they set Guess up my everything. Family has chosen where to set up the Aquato Dome. Oh my god. Okay, let's go see my family. Haunted water wheel? Round and round it goes. What makes it go, nobody knows. Uh, it's water. Gummies. Jeez, this place is a river. <laughs> I forgive you. Hello, mother. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh... What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! So Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? The one blowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it? Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Queepy on the bottom. I will never forgive you, Father, for that. Damn last level. This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes, I told you. We are acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys? Why not a little of both? Pops. Oh, cretin. You guys? Oh, shush. This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. It's no use. We need the Aquatodome. I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Pooty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. If there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anywhere. Man, they really took over the whole forest. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here now. So thanks, thanks for watching. Dude, this is wild. They made, oh my god, this game is fantastic. Uh, it's top notch. It's getting up there on my, my favorite list right now, but oh man, that, I've never had a game made me cry of ha laughter ever. That was good. I'll see you next time. <laughs>